What if I told you that the perfect YouTube banner can not only help you get more subscribers, but can actually help you get more clients and monetize your channel even more than it already is. What I'm gonna do in this video is take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to optimize your YouTube banner, turn it into a landing page that ends up converting clients and getting you more traction on your channel. I'm gonna talk about the nuances that most people ignore, which is why they're leaving a ton of opportunities opportunities on the table. So let's head in onto my screen. I'll walk you through it so that you can do this yourself. Before we get started designing our own perfect YouTube banner or channel art, let's look at a couple of examples so that we can see some consistencies of why these convert so high and drive additional traffic to increase your subscribers, increase any sort of sales or drive traffic to whatever you're hoping to achieve. You can see how these are all consistently set up where you've got the image of the person, you've got the name of the channel, some additional context in the center. And then on the right hand side, you've got a call to action. And then on the left hand side, you've got some additional supporting credibility or context. And you can see this is the same for all of the channel arts that we've actually designed for people. It's all extremely consistent across the board with every single person that we've been doing this for. It's designed like a landing page. So let's look at one quirk that a lot of people struggle with when designing their own YouTube banner. If we come to Canva, which is the free design tool that everybody loves, and we type in YouTube, you'll see that you've got your channel art. Now, there's one quirk about this that really throws people for a loop. And let me show you what this is. You can see that right here, we've got the YouTube channel art, but it looks big. And if you look at my channel, for example, you can see that it looks quite small and thin. So a lot of people end up designing their YouTube banner in a way that doesn't fit properly on YouTube. And they're wondering why that's the case when they come here and it looks like you should only be able to design this part. Well, the reason being is because of this. So this sizing is actually for TV. So if you look at somebody's YouTube channel on TV, this is what it would look like. But if you look on mobile, you're only going to see this center part in red. And then if you look on a desktop, you're going to get these two side flanks over here with additional information. So if you look at my channel, for example, this is how we design my banner art in terms of a landing page that's optimized to convert at scale and help my channel grow. So you can see that overall, if somebody looked on TV, it would still look very aesthetically pleasing and branded towards me. But then if you look on mobile, you'll see that all of the key information is there. And that's really important to understand because on average, about 80% of viewers are watching on mobile. So if you've got your picture over here, or if you've got key information on the sides that is the primary pillar information that people should know when they come across your channel, they're going to miss it. So the way that we like to design YouTube banners is ensuring that the photo of you is in the middle, and this is good for personal brand awareness and building your brand as an entrepreneur when people come across you. Same reason why your face should be in your thumbnails. Additionally, you should have the name of your channel. So if your channel is your name like mine, put your name there. If your channel is something else, like lifestyle entrepreneur, and then your name, then I would put lifestyle entrepreneur at the top and then your name below it. Now, additionally, I think it's really important to have some sort of credibility or who you serve. So you can see here that, you know, I serve real estate agents looking to leverage social media to scale their business. And then at the bottom, there's an additional call to action for people who might only be watching on mobile. Now on the sides, you can see two different things. We've got added context on one side, we've got call to action or CTA on the other side. This is really important because if you look at my channel, you can see that you have your links connected over here. So whether or not you want to prompt people to subscribe, the subscribe button on most channels is also over here just below. So that way you can prompt people to subscribe. Or if you've got some sort of free guide or if you've got some sort of website that you would like people to check out, driving traffic here with the call to action that people would see on desktop is extremely important. Now, if we come back to this design, you'll see that I like to use this other side for added context so that if people are looking on desktop, there's just some additional information about who you are, what you do, and why people might want to subscribe to your channel. 
So if you look at some of the examples over here, you'll see that we've got some top entrepreneurs with their logo. We've got some people that are putting motivational speaker, podcast host, mentor. We've got other people that are saying executive vice chairman of a certain group, a founder of a certain thing. So it's a great way to include some additional context as to who you are and what you're doing. Now, one cool thing that I want to share with you if you're looking to design your own YouTube banner is that a lot of people are wondering, well, Mike, how did you remove the background from this image so that you can start to design on your YouTube channel? Well, exactly how you can do this. You can come over to Google and type in background remover and then come to this site here. I use this site all the time. Now, if we upload an image, you can see that we can just choose something like this and then it will for free remove the background for you. So you can see what it looked like before, you can see what it looks like after. And then all that you need to do is download it and it'll go directly to your computer, which is really, really cool. Now, if you're designing your own banner, there's a couple different things you can do. Number one, you can use templates. So if you come back here to the homepage and you type in YouTube, you'll be able to see that for channel art, there is a ton of different templates that you can use to give you a general idea as to something that you can use as a go by or a template. However, if you want to create a custom, you can come back here and then again, you can find this graphic image anywhere on Google Images. I would take this part that's on mobile and then I'll copy it and then I'll paste it in here. So now I know exactly where this key information should be placed, knowing that the other two sides are for call to action and then the other sides are for call to action and then additional context. So that way, you know, if you want to play around with backgrounds and put some sort of cool image on here, you definitely can where you can see that if you come to uploads, maybe you want to put some sort of cool background on here. Again, just taking this for example, you can say this, and then maybe you want to make it a bit more transparent. And then let's say that you want to take that photo that we designed, you can start to put it in here as well. So you can see where this would fit in here. And then you can start to add some text And you can start to play around with this to make sure that you're fitting all of these different elements into the right sections with the call to actions and the arrows. So that way, as you continue to design this, you'll see that you've got all of your channel optimized to make sure that people are coming to the right information at the start, as you can see here. They've got more context over here and then they've got a call to action designed like a landing page to help their channel grow. So these are the key elements that I highly recommend including in any YouTube banner. And if you want to know any more about having banners designed or anything else related to social media branding, just drop a comment below and I will gladly help you. So hopefully this gives you some additional context of the proper elements you need to properly design your YouTube banner like an optimized landing page so that you convert, get more subscribers, and get better traction with your channel. Again, if you have any other questions, please make sure to comment below. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.